Ah, uh, Mr. Bookman, I've been waiting for you. Oh yeah? <laughs> you see, tonight is your departure. At 12 midnight, you'll be coming with me. Well, I'll see you at 12 then. <laughs> Mr. Bookman, perhaps you don't understand. This isn't just any sort of departure, and I'm not just any chauffeur. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Hey, can you put this uh, over by the drawer? The hell do you mean you know? I mean, isn't it obvious? The tacky suit, the ominous background music, you're clearly an embodiment of death. I mean, it's the oldest cliche in the book. Hey, f*** you, buddy. I'm just trying to do my job. All right, then. Cut the Twilight Zone bull and let's get a roll on. I'm here to end your life, Mr. Bookman. How does that make you feel, tough guy? Have you seen the news lately? It's a little bit overdue, in my opinion. Let's get a move on it. Hey, can you grab those condoms over there? I hear the, uh... Girls in hell are pretty freaky. You know, you're being a real t right now. And you look like a real t and now we're a perfect pair, so let's get a move on. You can suck my ass, pal. We're not going anymore. Are you serious? Dead serious. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, aren't you not supposed to leave without a soul? Isn't that a part of the whole deal? Oh, yeah. Lewis, you'll never believe it. My heart rate sentence letter came in the mail. My one dream i spent every waking moment of my life on. I feel so fulfilled. <laughs> Do you now see the consequences of your actions? Uh, to be honest, the guy was kind of a pest. He never did his dishes. You cannot be serious. Hey baby, it's so good to be home and back in your loving embrace. See now as the love of your life wilts before your very eyes. Full disclosure, she was kind of a naggy bitch. <sighs> Go kick rocks, buddy. I'm out of here. I don't have to put up with this. Phil? 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 God damn it! How was work? Kind of dead, to be honest. 